yo what's up guys welcome to another video from manifest sound and in today's video we are going to be showing you guys how to make some really cool nice sounding afro beats in fl studio using drum loops and without wasting much of your time guys let's dive right into the session So first of all guys, this loop was actually picked from the Rhythm Drum Loop Pack and it is the 8th loop in the list of the 15 loops that was included in the pack which is called the Infinity Full Loop 102 BPM and then because the stems of the loops were included in the pack, it actually started with the top loop that sounds like this. And then the percussion loop also came in at some point. Apparently going into the beat, um, it included the infinity full loop and it sounds like this. And basically, the top loop, the percussion loop, and the full loop was used interchangeably all through the beat. And that's all we have for our drums and percussions. Next up, we'll be talking about a static sound that was used all through the song. As you guys can see, it is actually played all through the song, and it sounds like this. And this sound was actually included to create this suspense in the beat. And uh, this sound was gotten from a stock plugin in FL Studio called GMS. And we are using the popular Ma piano sound called Diablo T under the bass category. You guys can check it out, it's really a nice sound. And then next up, talking about the melodic sounds that was used in the beat, we have this guitar sound that sounds like this. And this sound was also gotten from a stock plugin in FL Studio called Flex. And we are using the Jazz Guitar preset under the General MIDI Library category, as you guys can see. And it's really, really a nice guitar sound that you can check out. Alright, so guys, next up we have this flute sound that played some amazing melodies in the beat. More like the main melody in the beat, and it sounds like this. <laughs> Yeah, and this sound was also gotten from another stock sound in FL Studio combined with the jazz guitar. And the sound was gotten from Flex, and we are using the Pan Flute preset, which is really, really nice. Then we added some processing to it by sending in some delay and then some reverb into it, and then also cutting the low frequency, as you guys can see. Alright, so guys, next up, we're talking about the bass line that was used in this song, and it sounds like this. Alright, so guys, this is actually two bass being played together, and the first one we have here is from Purity, and it's called the Anna Bass Guitar, as you guys can see over here. Then next up, we have another bass sound called ample bass light and it's actually a very nice guitar so we combine the both sound using the ample bass sound as the high end of the bass and then using the purity and our bass guitar as the low end of the bass all right so guys next up we're talking about this particular vocal chant that was included in the beat and this is actually the voice of the producer that made this beat and it sounds like this and he actually recorded his vocals and then added some processing to it which we are checking out shortly so what he added was a wave tune real time for 
pitch correction effect as you guys can see and then next up he added a fresh air to give it this brightness and crispiness and then next up he added a, an ssl eq to cut some of the mid range and also boost some of the high mid uh, frequency and then next up he added this plugin called lfo2 to give it this kind of side chain effect and then next up he added a stock plugin in fl studio called the fruity low filter which is really really amazing still talking about the vocal chants i was using the beat we have this particular sound that also came in at the intro and then subsequently in the beat also and it's from our afro bank pack which is called the ambience vox one and it sounds like this it was also repeated at some point here Alright, so guys, next up, we're talking about some of the SFX sounds and the rolls that was used in this beat. Alright, so guys, let's preview our bit from the top to the end to see what we have in context. And paraventure, if you haven't gotten the Rhythm Drum Loop Pack, the download link will be in the description. Alright so guys, thanks for staying to the end of the video. If you find value in this video, kindly hit that like button and if you are new to this channel, also hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to receive subsequent updates from this channel. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.